So here are the materials you're going to need for the acoustic cannon, the Vortex cannon. You need a paper plate, a drawer knob, some washers. I've got a razor blade to help do some cutting. You could use a sharp knife, like an X-Acto knife, not a kitchen knife. That's not. That's actually very dangerous. A screw to go in the door knob, a screwdriver for the screw, a uh, marker to do some drawings, a bunch of rubber bands, and a big plastic bag or just a big plastic drop cloth would work. And uh, I've got some packaging tape. You could use some duct tape. Something wide will help. And all this is inside of some kind of a box. So it's up to you to decide what size box, what size hole, what I want to do for that. Oh, you can also, there's a paper plate there that I'm going to need as well. So these are materials for our cannon. Okay, in the box, I've got three sides to the box. So one of the sides is off, you can cut it off, or in this case it comes like that. And then I'm going to take this, put a plate, and I need a hole to put in the box. So I'll take the plate and my marker, and I'll just draw the hole around. Now you don't have to use a paper plate, you can use any size object you want, even a compass if you want a different size. And there's the hole. The next step is to take a blade, cut that out, or something sharp to get that out. Again, uh, any kind of sharp knife, don't use a kitchen knife or anything of that nature. Use something that's made for this, like a, an X-Acto knife would be great. And when it gets cut out, it's going to look something like this. This is where the hole's cut out. That's what you're going to want out of your three sides. Okay, next, we're going to put some holes here. And we're going to come back and show you what those are used for in just a moment. So that's going to be the purpose of the pencil. So I'll take the pencil and I'll put a hole here. I'll take the pencil and I'll put a hole over here. Kind of just in the middle, but you can experiment with how far, how close to put the holes. All that's up to you. Next step, I'm going to put some plastic on the back of this and then tape it to the back. So you can use a large bag or you can use a drop cloth. I've already gone ahead and taken a drop cloth and colored it. I'm going to color it, cut, cut it, and you can see it's bigger than the box because you're going to want it to go inside the box. I'm not trying to make it tight, I'm actually trying to make it loose. Then I'll take my packaging tape and I'll take strips of it to begin with just to hold it in place. And I'll hold, take down parts of the bag, kind of keep it in place, and I'll come back and tape down the rest of it. So that's kind of there, and okay, it's not tight on the top, so that's what I want. Now I've got to just tape it in place. So now I'll take bigger strips of tape, tape around it. You want to make it airtight, so you've got to go all the way around it. And I'm doing this kind of fast, just for the sake of the video. Normally I would take a little more care with what I'm doing. We're also outside. You can see the pine needles got on the tape. There we go, taped all the way around, nice to the top. Now what I need to do is next is reinforce the middle of this. So I'm going to take some tape and put it in the middle. If I don't do this, the middle will rip. And I'm going to put it on the other side as well. So now I have tape on both sides of the middle. Next, I'm going to put a hole here and put the drawer knob in place. So 
I'll take a pencil, hook it in the middle. There's my hole. Now, these are washers, and they're actually called fender washers. They're big washers. And what I'm going to do is put one on the inside and then one on the outside so it'll squeeze the plastic and hold it. If you don't do that, it's possible the plastic will rip on you. So I'm going to take the drawer knob here and the washer there. See, I've turned the box over to do this. And this may be hard to see what I'm going to do. But I'll put the washer through there. The other door knob and washer are going to be on the other side of the plastic. So now I've just pushed the screw through. There's a washer on the other side and the drawer knob. And now I'll begin to screw these two together. It's a lot harder than it looks. There we go. This is the part you really can't see, but I'm actually turning a screw inside of here. So now it's held in place. So at this point, I've got a drawer knob in the back. You could use a bolt, a screw of some kind, holding it in place. And if you bring a drawer knob, you might want to, you might lose it at school. So that might not be the best idea. Um, I got this at Lowe's for a dollar. And now I need to hold it in place with some rubber bands. So what I'm going to do is take my rubber bands and I'm going to link them together. So I'll just put one rubber band in the middle of the other one and just kind of fold it over and grab it. And when I pull them, they'll link together give me one long rubber band. And I'm going to link three together. You might link two, you might link four. You might do a lot more than what I've done. And what I need to do is poke rubber bands through here and hold them in place. So I'll take my pencil, this will become my holder now, break it in half, and I'll stick a rubber band through. So just like that. Same thing on the other side. So there's the rubber band. Put the pencil through it. So now the pencil's holding it in place. We're almost there. Last step. Connect the rubber band to the drawer knob. So what I'm going to do is loosen the screw just a little bit and take the rubber band and wrap it around the drawer knob. And then I'm going to tighten the screw. And there is a simple vortex cannon or acoustic cannon, whatever you're going to call it. Fire it, you just hold it in place, pull it back by the doorknob, and let it go. For you, what you want to look at is can you make the hole bigger, smaller, more rubber bands, fewer rubber bands, more strands of rubber bands, bigger lips, smaller lip, bigger box, smaller box. There's all kinds of things you can vary about your design to make it work. This is just a really, really simple model.